a fish that's right there. Yeah, I saw that. There was a fish right there. Yeah, that's this. Oh, I saw one jump over here. I saw fish. You saw one over there? Yeah. What are we fishing for today? We're fishing for carp. Carp? I thought we were fishing for catfish. Uh, we're fishing for carp and catfish. You're in the water. Uh, that's kind of deep. Far away, guy. Can I go in the water too? No, you might fall in. I might fall in? Yeah, you might fall in and see because you're too big. I'm too big? Yeah, I am pretty big. That's true. That is what we're fishing out of today. <laughs> Quite an interesting vessel. Never been in one of these before. We just got on the boat, but right now we are getting back off because I'm out here with Luke from Catfish and Carp. And what are, we, what are we doing right now, man? We're getting bait. We're climbing the food chain. Climbing the food chain. Sounds good. We got some out here. Tommy, you gonna help us catch some fish, man? Yeah, we're going to catch a little one. They're so teeny because they're babies. All right, let's do it. So right now we're on the dock. We're about to do some bait fishing, catch some uh, bluegill and casting it for the shad. And we got the size 14 hook. Look at that hook right there. The smallest hook I've ever seen hey, hey. in my entire life. Yeah. That's a thermal. <laughs> Your Look at that. Size of my thumbnail. Little pencil float. Got the uh, classic night crawlers here. Oh, Get to work. Don't touch for the worms. <laughs> it's all good. We're gonna get we're gonna get some bait now. I saw a big one jump. There's saw a big one. There's a big one jumping over the bridge. Jumping over the bridge? You can see all the way out there? Oh I got it. There's one. Nice. Number one. We need that, about. That was, a, that was a true bass fisherman hook set. There. Yeah. <laughs> that is a true bass fisherman hook no, set. No problems with penetration there. Uh, put him back in there. We need a, we need about eleven more. Then we can get on the uh, we can get on the big fish after this, after the bait fishing. Come on, eat it. Oh, I think he's got it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we got a little this, a difference. Is this a green sunfish? Yeah, you got it. Species number two for today. We'll see how many uh, we can catch. Yeah, these are actually some of the trickiest bluegill I've seen. How's this tournament working, by the way? Uh, I think you're kicking my butt, man. Oh, is it just whoever catches more fish? I think you're three to one. Oh, is that, is that how it's going? Whoever catches more fish? Oh, absolutely. Gotcha. Absolutely. This is this is this is volume. For this little bluegill tournament, we're seeing who can catch more bluegill. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, we've been fishing for about about 15 minutes. We've caught four bluegill. I've got three. He's got one. These are some of the smartest bluegill I've ever seen in my life. It's a monster! It's huge! You can't see my fingers because I'm using a forklift. With that, when he takes the lead, four to three, the biggest bluegill of the day. <laughs> that, I, that's flathead bait right there. That's That'll get us a big one, right? I saw you change up your taxes. You moved the uh, bobber a little higher. Yeah, I gotta get down a, either catfish or carp fishing. It's... Oh, tied it up. Oh! That's no four all. Dick's little brother just came on shore. Nice. What are we fishing to? What's the number? Uh, we're going, we're going we go to six. Go to six? All right, we're going to six. Next person to catch two more fish is the victor. Right now, we're still trying for that last fish. It's been about five minutes. Last one's the hardest. Last one's the hardest. It's been about five minutes since I caught number five. The intensity is pretty pretty unreal. Palpable. You cut the, <laughs> cut the suspense with the knife. Oh, I got someone's line. Oh, I'm, I'm back in the game. Oh, you got him. Oh, Boom. number six. Luke has taken the contest right there. Boom. There you go. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> All right, we are heading out right now in the catfish party boat right here. Time for phase two. We've got the bluegill, but now we need to catch some shad. So what are the bases of uh, cast net in there, Luke? Sure, let me show it to you. Okay, so you coil it all up into your right hand. You put the leash on your right hand. I grab right up near the horn, which is the, the plastic thing uh -huh. there. And then you want to grab about waist high on it. And uh, when you're on the boat trying to get it over the rail, maybe you choke off a little bit more. Okay. And then what you do is you spread this thing out. And you can see two curtains of lead. And you want to make sure that there's no tangles in there. And you take about half the lead in your left hand and you grab it about halfway to the bottom. And you put that in with your throwing arm. Then you get this curtain right here of lead. Once again, you look to make sure there's no tangles. Flap that over like that. Grab down, you're ready to go. I lost them on the sonar, but I think they're right in. Oh, yes. You got cast number one. I Close quarter cast. 
I can put that on my feet. The fish are about 10, so you do is you let it sink about 10 feet or so. Not all the way to the bottom because then you get snagged up and then you jerk it. You either have gotten a bunch or I've gotten a. Oh, you got, you got, oh yeah, yeah you got them. Yeah, That's a good throw. So we're doing some reservoir fishing today and this is the size of shad that we will be fishing with. Look at these, look at these size gizzards, Shad. That's gonna be some good live bait. Yeah, if you're using live bait, you really don't want them bigger than this because otherwise it's hard to fit in the mouth. It's like donut holes. You want your bait to be like a donut hole. <laughs> Just to go down and slide down. So easy. It's eight or 10, it could've been 10. I got really Last good. one. You gotta do it. You need help, Tom? Yeah. Okay, let me get that for you. Let's see. Oh, that is a big one. Whoa! Oh, oh, you got away. Oh, I'm so sorry, I dropped him, Tom. Oh, I'm sorry. You can scare her again. Kill this. We made it at the uh, spot we'll be fishing at for the rest of today. What exactly are we, uh... We did not! We <laughs> what exactly are we fishing right here? We are, like, what exact what feature? Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, we've got uh, a channel, a deep channel, that's just a little to our left, and we're right on top of the edge of the channel. And so what we're gonna do is we've got a lot of structure to our left, a big feeding frenzy, wide open flat on our right, and we're gonna fish half in structure, half out in the flats. Sounds good. He's got a, he's got the catfish party boat rigged up. Six rods, we can get them all strung up with live bait in just a moment. And uh, who's got the first fish? You, you get him, man. I'm, I'm what about dying. Tommy? Does he want to fish? He's gonna release him. He's gonna release he's him. He's gonna release him. him. All right, That's I'm on first fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the shot's kind of dead though. Do we want that or That's no? all right. That's okay? He's, he's alive enough. All right, how are we rigging this up? So right behind the dorsal fin, about half inch into the meat, flip that through and then you'll get these little fit, the scales on there. Make sure there's no scales on your point. No scales? Okay, so that, that could uh, hinder the hook set? Exactly, exactly. Gotcha, what do we got rigged up right here? All right, 10 odd hook, three ounce uh, little pancake lead, and a slider with a bead. And we got about 80 pound monofilament right there. About uh, 12 inches of that, and uh, that right there, it's gonna be this is gonna be a good time. Beautiful. Put that on the uh, oh, going into the flat. So you put uh, you put four rods in the flat, then you're putting two on the uh, two on the drop. Yeah. There you go. Rigged up. Now we uh. Now we put bells on them. Oh yeah, bells, of course. I mean, yeah, I'm not too familiar with bells. <laughs> nope. Not in bass fishing. So when there's a bite on one, is there a technique for setting the hook? Um, yeah, these are all big fat circle hooks. So what you're gonna do is you'll see, he'll tap, tap, tap. When the rod goes down and stays down, or the, top, the rod is perpetually tapping for a full two to three seconds, um, I'll say you go get them. And what you do is you wanna reel it down in the rod holder. Don't take it out, reel okay. it down until that rod is just charged way up. Mm -hmm. Then you can take it out and fight the fish. Gotcha. Now we hang out, hang out in the party boat, hang and play the waiting party. game. See, now you know why Tommy loves going fishing with me. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta watch movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that was the twitch you gave. That, oh. Yeah, that's legit. Oh, it's, oh, it's going, all right. Oh. Hey, on reel it. that down. Reel, reel down, down. I'll reel it down. Reel, 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 yep. reel, Okay, take it out of the rod. All right, here we go. We're on. We're on. Got a little guy on here. Yeah, yeah. A little channel. Nice little channel cat. All right, fish number one for the day. Okay. Yo, he's so cute, man. Should I just lift him or you want to net him? Yeah, I just lift just him. Lift him. All right, here we go, Tom. We're lifting him up. Here. Oh, fish here. number one. Oh, there we go. Nice Can I do my bass technique? Sure. Yeah, Let's do it. it. Yeah, lift this guy. Look, look, just, look, just some, look, just teeth look at that. Look, look at that teeth. Look at those teeth. <laughs> yeah, look at those little teeth, little gripper teeth, huh? Yeah. Let's see if I can get the circle hook out. There you oh, go. Now you know how to hold these, keep them getting thinned, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a holder. I'm a holder. You want to hold them? Okay, we'll get yeah. everyone to get a turn. Here you go, Tom. You want to help let them go? Maybe this holder, I think holder can, he, can he hold him? Yeah, he can. Okay, here you go, Tom. You can hold him. Does he know how to watch for the spines? More or less. Uh, more, more or less. Can I let go? All right, Tommy. <laughs> Put him over. Let's let him go. Nice, man. <laughs> Good job, Tom. <laughs> Fish number one. Here you go, Tommy. 
Pound it. And do you know how to do a fist bump? <laughs> yeah, you leave a man hanging. Give him a fist bump. No face. Okay, high five. No high five. thanks. <laughs> <laughs>